Hey guys and girls and welcome back to another episode of That Techo Guy and today I'm going to be speaking about mining, the traditional mining and what's been going on, is it actually still worth it to mine and what have happened to sites like Unminable, are they still giving new offerings, can you still mine different things on Unminable, well mine in inverted commas of course because you're not actually mining the coin on Unminable but yeah, we'll check all those things out and more, so stay tuned. Okay, so the main focus of this video will be on Unminable as well, so that we can see what's been going on. And for those of you that have uh, like hardware, like CPUs, and can't afford the more expensive GPUs, you can actually use Unminable to mine, in inverted commas always, because you're not actually mining the coin, you're actually getting paid out in the coin that you actually want to acquire through Unminable by mining on a different algorithm. And most of the coins on Unminable are not even mineable anyway, hence the name Unminable. Okay, so on the Unminable website, one of the latest news that I have found is that Polkadot is now available for mining, okay? So I'm just going to go to Polkadot, which is interesting, and you can mine it with several, several different algorithms and even with ASIC miners as well. I'm going to skip the ASIC miners part because I have no ASIC miners, okay? I'm just going to go straight to GPUs. Now, I've, I like the way they've actually laid this out. So if you've got a GPU with more than three gigabytes of RAM, you just click that here, and you can actually get the algorithms you would use to acquire the coin, the Polkadot coin in this case, um, for your graphics card, okay? So uh, that's quite good. So it's giving you which of the algorithms you should use as a recommendation for your GPU. So that, that, that's neatly laid out there. So hats off to Unminable for that, okay? If you've got a GPU with more than six gigabytes of RAM, so I'm just gonna switch the other one off, then you can use all these algorithms, okay? Technically speaking, if it's more than six, it's gonna be more than three, so leave them both there, okay? And you can choose your different algorithms. Now here is where it might get a bit confusing. Which algorithm are you going to choose? Well, I would say benchmark your graphics card, test all the different algorithms using the scripts that you have for your miners, okay? So you can actually do this in a quick way by getting a rough estimate of how fast your video card would mine. So let's say, for example, Auto Lycos, which is an ergo algorithm, okay? If I go to what to mine, you can actually plug in, let's say you've got 13080. I've got 13080 in this system. So that's going to give me on Auto Lycos 220 mega hash per second at 220 watts. Okay, so if I were to actually mine Ergo directly, um, then that would be somewhere down here and it's going to actually give me a loss of 16 cents because of the electricity consumption. So you're actually making 37 US dollar cents, but you're gonna make a loss because of the electricity. If you're not paying electricity, that's a different story, but um, most of us are. So, and I'm factoring the cost of electricity at one cent, one US dollar cent there. So it might actually be more for you. So back to the point is that you can get a rough idea of the, uh, the speed here. So obviously this is now, this is actually calculating these speeds based on uh, plus 100 on the core, plus 500 on the memory with 65% TDP. It all depends on your fine tuning of the card as well. I do believe that I can make a bit more on Auto Lycos than 220 at actually a lower wattage, okay? So fine tune and uh, check out all my other videos that I have on my channel on mining to get more efficient results and get uh, a higher hash rate at lower power. Now, let's say this is at 220 mega hash. So if we go back to the unminable site, down here, you can actually calculate. So if it's at 220 mega hash, here it's saying that I am potentially going to make at the current price today, which we will check out in a moment, 0 0.06 dot per day, okay? So basically, if I just copy that, let's see what the current price is. So the current price is at five euro and 85 cents at the moment. So if we open the good old calculator and we say, so we're going to make one polka dot is 5.85. If we times that by the number, 
that we actually are going to get from Unminable, then that's literally going to give me around 35 euro cents a day, okay? So 35 euro cents a day is on par with what to mine here. If you were to mine Ergo directly, that is pretty much what you would have made. Then you have to, you have to actually deduct the electricity costs. Now, the whole point to Unminable is that Polkadot is not a mineable coin. With the MatchX M2 Pro Miner, that was meant to be a thing, but it hasn't yet surfaced uh, for now. So, at the time of this video, Polkadot is still not a mineable coin. So, you can actually acquire Polkadot by either, obviously, purchasing it directly or mining it through Unminable. Mining it through Unminable. You're actually mining Ergo and you're getting paid out in DOT. So, why not mine Ergo directly and then just convert that to DOT? Well, you can as well, but obviously there is more work for that to be done because you have to go to exchanges, you have to exchange the coin yourself, you have to see that you're getting a good fair price, you have to see what fees there are involved for you to do that as well. So there's more work to it. This way, you're just getting it directly. Obviously, Unminable are taking a cut out of this as well. So I'm not saying they're not making any money. I'm not saying that you couldn't have made more if you had actually mined it directly, but you can't mine this directly. So, it's also giving you a chance to mine with your CPU for those of you that don't have video cards or very good video cards. So, with the CPU, you can do the same thing. If your hash rate is, say, mine I think might have been 3000 at some point, and that's going to mine on the random X algorithm, which is the Monero algorithm. So, if I do that, I'm going to be making 0.01. If you're mining with your CPUs, make sure to check out my videos on my channel. I've got videos on how you can mine faster with your CPU, okay? So do check out that video. It's a very good video. I'll go into good detail of how you can enable huge page files in order for you to be able to do that and be able to actually squeeze out more hash rate from your CPU. So be sure to check that out as well. So here you've got a new coin that you can actually start to acquire through unminable so you just click on whatever algorithms that say it's going to be the cpu for cpu i would use xm rig that's the one i recommend okay you've got all the guides here that you can use but basically it's the same concept you can check out my other videos as well the only difference that there's going to be here is that you have to put in your polka dot address in your scripts and then run that okay so you put your polka dot wallet address and your worker name can stay as it was before maybe just rename it to something that you understand better that can be any name you're mining on the random x so it's rx.unminable.com you've got all the details here all the ports okay so let me just uh, find an, an xm rig script here and i will open that up for you and show you an example so here's one that i found when i used to mine safe me for example okay so it's the same concept exactly so here if i just minimize this a bit like that so we can see everything so you've got xmrig.exe this is for cpu mining for gpu it would obviously be either phoenix miner or t-rex miner depends which miner you prefer so i'm just going to base this on cpu mining okay just for this example so the same thing the server name rx.unminable.com 333 so i haven't changed anything so far minus a rx okay it's exactly the same thing you can go into the guide here as well it will give you the same thing Minus K to keep alive, minus U is your user wallet. Now, this is where things will change, okay? So, let's say I want to mine dot as we are showing. So, I'm going to remove this and put in dot. Here, after the colon, there will be your wallet address, your Polkadot wallet address. So, you need to obviously have a wallet on an exchange or maybe on Trust Wallet or things like that or MetaMask. Depends where you have Polkadot, could be on Coinbase, Binance, take your pick, okay? There's, there's loads of them. You put in your wallet address there. I'm just going to type in something random here at the moment. Dot and your worker name, which I said can be anything, okay? So in this case, I'm going to make it something that I would understand better. So Teco Guy, for example, dot and underscore CPU. So I know that I'm mining with my CPU. Hash, and you can put a referral code there. Okay, so you can get rid of the 1% uh, standard mining fee and reduce that down to 0.75% so you can get a bit of a discount. I will leave my referral code if you want to use that down below to get a bit of a discount on that as well. Minus PX, okay? So that is basically it. 
You just save that, run that, and your CPU will be mining Polkadot with Unminable. Again, mining in inverted commas, okay? But it's a good way for you to use your maybe even older CPUs and uh, if they're just lying there gathering dust, might as well put them to use and maybe make something in the future. Remember, the price as at today is at five euros and 78 cents, but we can see that it's been going up lately for Polkadot as well. So it's been doing quite well. If we see the past year, obviously it has gone down in the past year, but who's to say that it won't go back up there again? So try and acquire what you can acquire now. Always diversify your portfolio as well. If it's a coin that you cannot mine, there's, there are loads of coins that are mineable. There's Nano, there's Ethereum, proof of work as well. I mean, look at all these coins. Some of them you can't mine directly, okay? Some of them you can. If you have the hardware to be able to mine it directly, like GPUs, then go ahead and mine it directly. Obviously, you'll be making more. It'll be more worth it for you. But some people don't actually have the equipment, the hardware to be able to do that. And that's where Unminable is giving those people the opportunity to mine with all the hardware as well. So I just wanted to make this video to let you know that there's Polkadot now on our Mineable as well, which you can actually acquire. I hope that you found it useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below. Smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.